Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Excuse me. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 525, NASDAQ off 188, SP's down 64. Gold, gold contract down $13.80, trading at 2348 an ounce. We have silver up four cents, $28, three cents an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 90 cents, 86 dollars, 12 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up a full point plus 11 ticks at 108.09, and the 30 up two points plus nine ticks at 115.22. And King Dollar, King Dollar's on the move, folks. King Dollar took out its swing point. You're up 1,071 ticks, 105 220, Euro 107, Yen 152, British pound 125 to one U.S. dollar. My phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? I'm going to go to the world of the dollar first because it looks to me that what you're going to see here is that we're going to, these are the spies going to go after this gap. And the dollar, this move on the dollar out here, okay, is saying that it wants to go to the 107, way up the other side of the last six months. 107, 113. It's a 3.8 to B. Now, I don't have the volume on it, but it, if I just speculate, that gives you 106.890. And up here, you got 107.113. So I suspect that's where we're going. You can see that you only did a slight retracement, you know, from the last leg. Yeah, you did the 0.382. That's it. Took off like a rocket ship when the CPI came out this morning. We came in at 0.4. So the bottom line is that that's a heavy CPI, folks, okay? Now, we had the minutes of the Fed coming out at 2 o'clock today. So in the minutes, the one thing you did have is that the runoff of their balance sheet is going to get cut in half. So what does happen there, that does loosen money, okay? But the interest rate structure, it's pretty intense right now. If we go look at this 10-year, look at this 10-year. This is going to be an ABC down. The volume is explosive. So we have, yeah, 3.1 million contracts. So now, let me see how I can do this, because it looks to me like you're already, the ABC is probably already done. 110.31, so that's just, I'm going to say 111. Okay, to 109, it's only two, two bucks, which gets you 107.26. Well, yeah, we got more to go. We hit 108.05, it's 107.26. You can see, I mean, we, we blew away this swing point here with volume. So bottom line, we're going there. Now, what, let me show you gold. This gets interesting in gold because in gold, now you got heavy volume on gold too, but on gold, you can see that you almost have as many buyers as sellers, which is amazing. So you got three, 327,000 contracts. Now, that's monster contract volume. But yet, you've only come down to, well, you come down to 2337, and you're at 2346. That's not, that's not a big hit in the gold market. In fact, if you take a look at some of these goals, it's, it's like wild, man, because, you know, if I go to First Majestic, what you're going to see, whoops, okay, let me do this, AG. There's a bunch of them that are like this, too, is that, now this is a big silver stock, okay, Bottom line is that we got down to uh, 751, rejected it, you're at 789. That thing's like still staying at highs. There's a lot of them that are still staying at highs. Let's go to the SPY and take a look at the SPY and see how this baby's setting up. So with the SPY, we already have 63 million shares. I believe we're going to 92, 96. So 30 million shares, we can do 30 million shares. So. What you're going to have there is that uh, we haven't, yeah, we hit, did hit it. We hit 512.09, 512.78 is the swing, and then the gap is that 497. 
We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. The queues out here are down 492. You get 49 million shares traded. We're going into 57. So you can see it's going to blow that away. Now, what we haven't done yet is that we haven't got to the low, which is 435.11. That being said, when you come into a swing point and you have an expansion of volume, your probability goes much higher, you're going to break it. So I expect this is going to get broken too. And then the gap that's wide open here is 425.70. And right now we're at 437. So bottom line is that, uh, oh, now let's go look at the arms because what you're going to see here is that this start ticking up. Right now we're at, uh, where are you? Was it want me to do a trim? Sorry about that, folks. One second. Hey, uh, there we go. I got it. Okay, so we're at. Oh man, this doesn't even make any sense. This is wild, folks. This is not cool. One second. Let me just show, see something. Right now, we're at point six seven. Man, let me, and we only went to a point. So what this is saying, right? Listen what this is saying. This is crazy, man. This is saying that folks have been buying all the way down, man. Yeah. I mean, this is just the opposite. When you get, when you get a low reading like this, this is normally like when you've, you've been up 500 points, not down 500 points. Yeah, I got it correct, too. And yesterday was, so it's 0. .66. We should be up like one point. 5-0 or something, man. I know the spy is going to have higher volume. The question is, is the test tent with lower volume? It has higher volume. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Mm -hmm.